Welcome back everyone. If this is your first time here and you like what you see, like, subscribe, tell your friends, share this. Uh, last weekend I made a tool tube, kind of roughed it out, cut a little bit too short, yeah whatever shit happens. Um, but over the week I went and got another tube, cut it down to 18 inches, I said like you know 17 and 3 quarters, maybe 18 inches while I was feeling frisky. So 18 inches here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish that up. The mount here is still kind of raw. It's just sharp corners, things like that. So I brought out my belt sander from the basement right here. And uh, I'm going to just clean up some of those edges, round them off, make it look like it's not a one inch by eighth inch piece of ang aluminum angle. I also have over here set of fastway pegs that I actually got from my buddy. They're off of uh, aluminum framed YZ and I hear they actually fit the DNS lower uh, lowering pegs, mount, whatever, hell, whatever the hell you want to call those things. So I'm going to try to fit those in. I might have to grind a little bit off of them but it'd be a nice platform to have other than these stock ones that are kind of narrow. And So that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. Uh, grab a beer, join me. Alright, so I got the new tube in right here. It's actually hitting right here on the other side of the fender or the other side of the number plate. I don't know if you can see it right down in there. Which I guess it's alright, it's not bad. I'm not gonna worry about it. Um what I ended up doing though is I found these two nylon spacers. I think they're for radiator guards that I had before on a different bike, but two nylon spacers, washers, whatever you want to call them, might be half inch thick there. Put those in just so the angle here was a lot better. I can actually spin this now and I can get the cap off a little bit easier. I still have to kind of like shoehorn it in that way, but it, it goes in and I can tighten it. I just set it on a tool roll and not like a pencil bag because I want I want to have something that I can lay out flat like a mat like a little bit of a workspace instead of just having like a narrow bag that I unzip and just try to dig through and get my tools out of. I want a workspace that's clean um, it's not like full of rocks, gravel, so when I pull hardware off if I need to, I can drop it on top of that and not worry about losing it in the gravel and the dirt and a mud puddle or something like that. So I'm going to come up with a tool roll idea. Um, this whole tube is 18 inches, like I said. We're losing an inch right here for the plug. Then the other side, we're losing a little bit for that drain plug. So I'm going to make the, the tool roll 16 inches. I'm probably gonna go like 16 by 18, maybe 16 by 20, put pouches in the end of it for all the loose stuff. I'll, I'll do that later, but I just gotta get this mounted and then I'll go from there. So next step is I'm gonna take it back off and I'm gonna trim basically around this washer, flat down here, maybe put a little bit of an angle here, clean that up. Uh, do the same with the other end, just to make it look a little bit more professional. No sharp edges. <laughs> Wait. 
All right, I got my mount all trimmed up. You can see I put an angle here, rounded the corners off, rounded that corner off, put an angle here. It stops right at where the clamp's gonna go. So, I mean, I got kind of maximum strength there. I could have like kind of went back in if I wanted to, you know, do something fancy in there, but I think this will look enough. This looks all right and it's strong enough. Uh, both the hose clamps are on there, ready to go back to the tube. Uh, over here I have the, the end cap here, it's just a press and drain, it fits right in the end of that, we're good. Um, I'm going to glue that in, but before I have this lid off of, I think it's a butter container, that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace the outside of this, cut that circle out, and then start trimming it so it fits just inside here. And then I have this epoxy that I'm going to mix up, kind of put it on the in here all over the place, push that down in there, and let that dry. Then I can glue the cap back into the tube here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and come back. I'm not too worried about these gaps here because what I'll do is once it's glued in there I'll put some RTV or some silicone in there and just just fill that up I might even fill in the entire face here with silicone and kind of so mix up some epoxy clean this up clean this up mix up some epoxy slam her in there All right, now while all that glue is drying, I'm curious to see if these YZ pegs will fit on this with the JNS uh, lowered foot pegs that I have on here. So let's take a whack at that. So if you look right here, there's a groove in that collar or in this bushing here and they're they're removable you can put them on the top put them on the bottom but if I trim it right on that line I bet you it'll fit on here also there's a stop right here that will actually fit perfectly over here so I mean I'll be hitting I'll be stopping there probably half of that bolt maybe more and I'm just gonna trim these down and see if it'll work I know I can get these from Fastway well I should be able to because it's a removable part from them so I'm gonna try trimming them down and fitting these to it Mint. I love it. Look at these. 
they fit pretty good uh it springs a little tight there i actually um i swapped the collar around because the way they were, they were on before this hook was on top and i know that i ride sometimes with my um my boot on the inside here just just out of habit it's it's something because my boots are up against the side here when I'm riding, I squeeze the frame here, so I know that my heel or my boots are actually getting over here. So I didn't want to put the hooks there and just end up hooking them off. They are a little bit higher. I mean, they're, what, a quarter of an inch higher there. But it's, it's fine. I don't think I'm really going to notice a difference other than the awesomeness because look at these things. There's, here's your total difference now. Yeah. So much better platform i've run these on my race bikes before and i absolutely love them they're awesome i forget they're just the square fast ways they're pretty pricey but i ended up picking these up from a friend they're used for pretty cheap it was a good price i didn't want to have them sell them to someone else so i offered him some cash and he was like yeah come and take them so i got them and i'm happy they fit on here this is great um, do the other side and then we'll get back to that tool tube. All right. I got the other foot peg on uh, This looks like it's pretty dry See right here. It's, I'm just using Quick seal plus and it's the only stuff I could really find but it says it's waterproof I have gasket maker too, but I think this is gonna be good because it's basically PVC and this is for um, PVC, you know plumbing inside stuff so says premium kitchen and bath adhesive sealant so I'm just gonna fill every single one of these holes with this stuff all right I got just about every hole filled um, a little bit extra obviously I'm just gonna take the straight edge of a cardboard and just kind of like use it as a putty knife and smear it in there While I'm sitting here waiting for this caulk to dry a little bit, I laid out my tools, um, added a few things like 8, 10, 12 wrench that I really couldn't fit in there to begin with. These two tire irons, which is kind of like the whole thing why I started putting this tube together. Uh, I was actually able to add another pill bottle here. I might swap it out for the spark plug or put two spark plugs simultaneous you know right there don't know yet but what i think what i think i'm going to do tomorrow is cut out a piece of fabric just 16 inches because that's what i measured here the whole thing's 18 there's the one inch for the plug here then this ends right here this is actually like 15 and 3 eighths but down on the inside there you can see there's a little bit of a lip from that plug at the end so i mean I think I can get, I'll be safe with 16 because then I'll be able to still reach in there and grab onto it if I need to. I'll put a little loop handle on there, like a little finger pull in the middle of it, but 16 I think is a good number. So that's basically this line I laid out right on top here. And this is everything I kind of want to put in there for now. I might swap out for better pliers. I mean, I'm going to take this and roll it up in a piece of fabric and see if I can fit it in that tube. If I can, then I'll go from there, designing pockets, laying out the pockets and whatnot for it. But I think the overall, having all the pill containers on this side, just little um, elastic loops, then I can start the roll there, roll everything over to this side, maybe leave these out if I have to and kind of lay them in the side as I slide everything together. That might work, but for now I'm just going to, Grab a piece of fabric, roll that up, see if I can fit it in there, but I'm going to fit this to the bike first, just to see how much of a pain in the ass it is when I get everything rolled together to put it in there. So let's go do that. All right, there she is. All finished up. That's that's the final product right there.
I like it. All right, everyone, I got the tool tube here wrapped up. I got all the edges smoothed out so I'm not cutting, dragging my gloves off of anything there. Uh, that's installed, that's not gonna move it. I'm done playing with that now. Uh, I got these pegs on here. These are pretty sweet, I'm happy these came out all right. Tomorrow, I'll probably cut out a piece of fabric for the tools here. Lay those out, roll them in. I might might tune in or might chime in a little bit there. See how that's going. I don't know if I'll add it to this video or not. You'll find out because you're watching it now. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a night. Maybe drink another beer, do some research on some tools that I might need here and there. Uh, if you like what you saw, please subscribe. Uh, like the video, comment on it, tell me I'm doing something wrong, tell me I should use this tool, I shouldn't use that one, or why are you using a hacksaw when you have a bandsaw in the basement type of deal. Uh, please, thanks, and um, see you on the next one.